Polish winged hussars were part of the main type of cavalry in the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. At first they were light cavalry and later in the second half of the 16th century transformed into heavily armored shock cavalry. Before we continue this video, let me just give you an example of how epic they actually were in action. Pretty epic, I would say. Polish winged hussars were part of the many battles, but perhaps Battle of Vienna is the most resounding. Here is also where Polish King Jan III Sobieski comes in. Jan III Sobieski was the ruler of the Polish-Lithuanian Union since 1674. He was a great military leader and organizer who for a short time lifted Poland-Lithuania into a strong military force and defended against Turkish attacks. One of the important victories that later resulted in Jan III Sobieski becoming the King of Poland was the Battle of Kyoten in 1673, where Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth forces under Hetman Jan Sobieski defeated Ottoman Empire under Hussein Pasha. Following that was Jan Sobieski winning the royal elections. Now let's get back to the Battle of Vienna. Battle of Vienna took place at Kahlsberg Mountain near Vienna in 1683, after the imperial city had been besieged by Ottoman Empire for two months. The battle was fought by Habsburg Monarchy, Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth and Holy Roman Empire under the command of King Jan III Sobieski against the invading Muslim Ottoman Empire. The battle was won by combined forces of the Holy Roman Empire of German nations and Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Historians suggest the defenders had approximately 90,000 men and attackers 140,000 men. Victory at the Battle of Vienna was also a turning point of Ottoman conquest on Europe since they started to lose more and more territory. Polish winged hussars were truly fierce warriors and Jan III Sobieski one of the greatest military minds in Europe. If the brave Slavic brothers along with other European brothers lost the Battle of Vienna that could have resulted in further Ottoman conquest. So they certainly deserve to be in the Slavic Battles of the Week series. Thank you for watching.